You liked when we showed you the best GTA Online glitches last time. So today we're going to go over 25 even better and more fun glitches that you can try in GTA Online. Let's go. And to start off, we're doing a fun invisible arms glitch. This one's very, very easy to do. Just go to any clothing store, go up to the front desk where the outfits are. Then you want to equip this outfit. So go to the Diamond Casino Heist, scroll down to Refuse Collectors, and you want to equip the pickup. Once you do that, now just go to Tops, go to Overcoat Blazers, and click No Top. And for whatever reason, this is just going to bug your outfit out and remove your arms completely. You can go and save this outfit in any property that you own. A lot of people are going to be very confused when they see you out in the lobby, and that's kind of the point. It's pretty funny. Next, we're uh, we're going to be pulling a Franklin and breaking into Michael DeSanta's house. So this is a wall breach, very easy to do. Of course, you want to come over to Michael's house, which is here on the map. Now you want to take cover on the backyard door right here, just like this. Then you want to go to online, go to jobs, go to rockstar created races. Once you're in the start screen for that race, just like this, just back out. And once you get put back in GTA Online, it should breach you right through that wall. And you can just roam around Michael's house and do whatever you want. Of course, you can just log into single player and do it. But doing it with your GTA Online character is kind of cool. Next, I'll show you how to lower any vehicle suspension without paying any money. This one's pretty crazy. So just get any car that you want to lower the suspension on. Pull your gun out and just shoot the center of the wheel hub. Don't actually shoot the tires. You're not trying to pop the tires. But as you can see here, if you just shoot the center of the wheel, the actual car is going to lower closer to the ground. Do this on all four wheels and you've basically slammed your car. It still works completely normal. It's just got way, way lower suspension. This one's a neat little wall breach down at the tattoo parlor of Vespucci Beach. So for this one, you're going to want a motorbike and you're going to want to come and wedge it right in the back of the tattoo parlor here, just like this. The next step, very difficult. Just, uh, just hop off the vehicle. Yeah, no, that's it. It's very, very simple. Just hop off the vehicle right here and you'll be in the wall. It's a wall breach. No one will be able to get you here. Doesn't really serve too much of a purpose unless you wanted to, you know, start up some CEO work or something, but there you go. Did you know you can actually climb walls with a BMX bike? It's kind of insane and it's very, very simple to do. So just ride up to a wall just like this and then just spam the jump button. That's right. That's it. It's so simple. Like it might take a little bit to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, yeah, you could just climb up walls. It's insane. Now I'll show you how you can get into the back of a mule truck. The easiest place to do this is going to be at this staircase here, just to the south of the casino. So you want to be in a mule. You might have to buy one. Then reverse it right up to this stairwell right here. Now just hop out, jump to the bottom, and then climb up the stairs. Once you get to this ladder here, the ladder should be directly below the mule. And once you climb up the ladder, it's just going to teleport you right into the back of the truck. Now we're going to break in and breach the wall to the Lombank building. So this one's right next to Record A Studios. What you want to do is get a car, come and park it right up against this bush here. Then we're going to jump on top of the car so that we can sort of wedge ourselves in between the building and this hedge right here. Once you're fully wedged in here, get out your up anatomizer, look at this pillar right here, and use that to launch yourself backwards. Once your character tries to stand up, you should be inside the wall here, and you can just kind of run around and explore. It's kind of cool to explore the interior of buildings like this. I personally find it pretty fun, so I love stuff like this. And sticking with the theme of launching yourself with an up anatomizer, if you come over to this park right over here, there's a little baseball field. If you stand with your back facing towards the cage here and launch yourself into it with an up anatomizer, your character is going to completely bug out. Sometimes you're going to just die, which, I mean, I guess that's just kind of funny as well. But sometimes your character is just going to glitch out and just absolutely break the game. Next is one of the more fun glitches in all of GTA Online, in my opinion. For this one, you're going to want a cargo bob and a tank. Now, what you want to do is, of course, pick up the tank with your cargo bob, then fly out to your Kasatka submarine. What you need to do is wedge the wing of the Kasatka here right between the tank and the actual cargo bob. It might be a bit difficult to do, but it's worth it because if you can do it and then start flying up, the Kasatka is just going to go launching into the air. 
Now, if you get two people with a cargo bob and a tank and you go on both sides of the Kasatka and wedge yourself between both of the wings, it's very hard to do, but you can actually fly with the submarine. This is how you've seen some people in the community get like a Kasatka on top of the Maze Bank Tower, which is insanely difficult to do. But if you think you and a friend are good enough pilots to do it, hey, give it a go because it is hilarious. You know what else is hilarious? Launching yourself halfway across the map. So for this one, you're going to want a truck cab and a Chernobog. The easiest place to do it is down on the beach here, right here where this little stunt ramp is, and park your Chernobog just like this. Once the Chernobog's parked there, the person who's in the Chernobog needs to hop out of the Chernobog and go into the back seat where they can control the gun. When you're in the back seat, aim the gun as high as you possibly can so that someone else can get the truck cab and use the ramp to sort of position the back of the truck cab right below where the gun is. Once it's lined up, if you just hop out of the Chernobog, so the person in the Chernobog hops out, that's going to drop the gun back to the normal position very, very quick. And because the truck cab is like wedged in there, it's just going to send it flying across the map. Now, I want to see how far you can launch your Chernobog and your truck cab. Personally, we've got it like halfway across the city. But if you can get it further than that, tag me on Twitter at TGG on YT, of course, because I want to see some crazy clips. This next one will show you how to get invisible car parts for your monstrosity. So just take your monstrosity into LS Customs, and instead of just buying the car part, if you actually just scroll through them very, very quickly here, in fact, you want to swap between the stock option and another option. If you do that very quick, it actually won't change. This is pretty useful for the window panels because that can have an effect on what guns you can use in the actual car. So this is a little glitch that can help you get around that bug. Now, of course, with the Cluckenbell Farm Raid, Rockstar actually let us finally drive the train. But there's actually a way to just get inside the normal train normally. So all you want to do is just wait for the train to stop. The best place to do it is on the right side of the map here. And once it stops, just go up to a random carriage on the train and spam the get in button. Eventually, your character is quite literally just going to hop inside the train and become the train. It's kind of crazy. I couldn't believe it the first time I found this one out a couple years ago. But definitely do this. Your friends are going to be absolutely confused. Next, we have another launch glitch. For this one, you're going to want a prison bus and you're going to want to take it right to this pizzeria here in Los Santos. If you line it up exactly like this and then jump on the front of the bus and try and jump on top of the bus, it's just going to send you flying into the air. This is just one of those things that I feel you do when you're just bored in GTA Online. You're like, I need something to do to waste some time. And this is the perfect thing to do. Next is an infinite boost glitch for your Torador. So what you want to do is go over to the LS car meet here with your Torador, park it right out front, then I want you to drive inside the LS car meet, but as you do it, activate the submarine mode. You'll know this has worked when you get inside the LS Kami there and quite clearly your Torador is going to be in both normal mode and submarine mode at the same time. Then you can just drive back out and take this wherever you want. So if you take it to like a ramp or something like this where it'll launch you into the air, you can just boost quite literally forever. It's kind of insane. Boys and girls, I think we found the Oppressor Mark III. This next one is a Deluxo bridge glitch. You don't have to use the Deluxo. You can use any flying vehicle, but I just find this one easiest. So come over to this bridge here, and then all you want to do, quite literally, is just drive into the side of the bridge right here. Once you're in here, you've breached through the wall. You're just inside the bridge. You have become the bridge. Congratulations. Now we're going to break inside the vanilla unicorn. So the first thing you want to do is get a car, bring it out here at front of the vanilla unicorn, just like this. Aim at this wall, align yourself up perfectly, and then jump. Then you want to walk right across the edge of this sort of building here. I don't know what to describe it. Basically, just copy what I do in the video here. Jump down over here, and then switch to first person mode. And there you go. You're a bartender. You're behind the bar. You officially work at the vanilla unicorn. Now we're going to break into the Mission Row police station. So grab a car, drive in to the back sort of security parking lot area here and you want to drive your vehicle right down this set of stairs and wedge it at this sort of angle right here up against the wall then you want to run and jump and try and get your character to ragdoll right between the car and the wall it may take a few goes but once your character stands up you'll be inside the police station here which of course is a place you can get to in missions but not normally a place you can get to in free roam now we've got a dodo launch glitch this one's pretty simple but can be pretty 
fun to do with a friend. So of course, get a dodo plane and one of you needs to be in the driver's seat so that the plane is actually running. Then you wanna join the same MC club and make sure that friendly fire is off because one of you is gonna jump out and then run and jump into the front propeller of the plane. Now, sometimes this is just gonna do nothing, but every once in a while, if you get it just at the right angle, you're gonna go flying. You may have seen this one somewhere across social media. This is a very fun glitch to do, or I don't even know if you really wanna classify this one as a glitch, it's just fun. So get a friend and one of you needs to be in a vigilante. Then you wanna park the vigilante so that the back of the vigilante is facing somewhere up because basically we're gonna launch someone really high into the air. Then your friend needs to be in a really light vehicle, whether that's like a motorbike or a really small car, and get them to try and go right behind the boost of the vigilante. Then of course, just boost the vigilante and it's gonna send the person behind you absolutely skyrocketing into the air. I couldn't believe how long we got launched into the air here. It was a very, very long time. Maybe even longer than the Chernobog one. This one was insane. Definitely give it a go. Now we've got another rapid fire glitch. So this one's for the heavy sniper and this works just like any other rapid fire glitch you've probably seen in GTA Online, just like the rocket launcher, for example. All you want to do is shoot one bullet, then quickly swap to another weapon and then swap back to the heavy sniper. You do that, then shoot. You can actually shoot the heavy sniper faster than you normally would be able to. And like I said, this is the same way you do it for other things like the RPG. So this is actually a pretty useful mechanic if you're trying to blow something up or take something out. Now we have another wall breach with the up anatomizer. It's funny how all of these just kind of work the same. When Rockstar introduced the up anatomizer, they really introduced introduced a whole can of worms that I don't think they were expecting. But anyway, head over to here on the map, line yourself up against the wall of this building, launch yourself in with the up anatomizer and you are in yet again another building. Now I'll show you how to get the minigun in your bunker shootout missions. So the first thing you want to do is go to one of your gun lockers somewhere in one of your properties and make a weapon loadout where you're hiding all of your weapons except for the Widowmaker, the minigun and tear gas. Then go to your bunker shooting range and actually disable the custom weapon loadout in your interaction menu. Then go start one of the shootout challenges, shoot one bullet, shoot one target, and then go back into your interaction menu and equip the loadout. Then you're gonna have the minigun. If you wanna do it again, just again, make sure that you disable the loadout before you go in and start up another challenge. Now we'll just be floating in midair. This one's very strange. First thing, what you wanna do is get in the back of a van. So you're gonna need a van where you can open up the back and sit in it. So do that, then hop into your interaction menu and hover over the action called Crybaby. Then you wanna hop out of the van and just as you hop out, instantly press press use action and you're gonna end up looking like this. So random, people are gonna be so confused and that's why we love glitches. And to finish off the video, we're gonna get an invisible trunk or tray for our rat loader. So if you have a rat loader, take it to an LS Customs, then go to trunk beds and what you wanna do is just scroll as fast as you can until it just goes invisible like this. But what you actually need to do is then buy the one that is the stock tray. You need to like time it because if you leave it there for too long, it's going to revert back to the original one. It's kind of hard to explain. If you don't understand how it works in the video here, you'll definitely get it when you go and try and do it. You'll see what I mean. But basically scroll through as fast as you can, land it on the stock tray once it's invisible and you've got an invisible trunk. And there you go. There's 25 more glitches in GTA Online. These ones were a lot more fun than the first video in my opinion. So if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Boys. Paper, I've been on my grind since I was